Last year, I looked at how artificial intelligence, or AI, might improve the process of upsampling, adding extra pixels to an image by using calculations. I really wanted this to work because I really like shooting with my Epson RD1. It makes beautiful images, but they're only 6 megapixels. So I always worried, what if I encountered a subject that deserved a big gallery-worthy print? I tried this first with an application called Topaz Gigapixel AI. The results weren't perfect, but they were promising. The main downsides were that Gigapixel AI costs $99 and was fairly complicated to use. But now a new artificial intelligence has come to town. Adobe Systems just announced a new AI upsampling feature it calls Super Resolution. And it's not a separate product, it's baked right into Adobe Camera Raw, or ACR, which a lot of people already use. Now I had to try this out for my RD1 photos, so I set up this little test scene. I shot it with my RD1 using a 35mm Canon rangefinder lens and an adapter. For comparison, I shot the same scene with a real 24 megapixel camera, a Fuji X Pro 2 with the same lens. I open up my test files using Adobe Bridge, which is the easiest way to access ACR. I make any image adjustments I want, then I right click on the image and choose Enhance. Uh, Super Resolution doesn't have any options, it only does one size, four times the original pixel count, so all you have to do is check its checkbox and click a button. You'll see the activity indicator spinning away in the lower left corner, and then in a few seconds it spits out a new upsampled file in DNG format. For comparison, here's a recap on using Topaz Gigapixel AI. I launch the app and then drag my original file onto it. Gigapixel AI is a lot more flexible than Super Res, which is great for fine tuning but takes a while to set up. Once the conversion is started, it's quite a bit slower than Adobe Super Resolution, but eventually it generates a new upsampled file. Now let's crop in and look at those files. For pixel peeping on a monitor, you can't expect miracles. The native 24 megapixel file is clearly the best and the most detailed. But the Topaz upsampled file looks pretty good, and to me, the Adobe Super Resolution file looks even a bit better. But this challenge is about prints, right? Again, the original 6 megapixel file looks the worst, and the original 24 megapixel file looks the best. But the file upsampled with Topaz Gigapixel AI makes a decent print, and the file upsampled with Adobe Super Resolution looks even better to me. Even a photo expert probably would have to put a loop on it to be sure that it hadn't been shot with a higher megapixel camera. So let's recap. Can AI really make a 6 megapixel photo look like a 24 megapixel photo? No, but it can look really good. And if you're making a print, which masks the fine details, you may be able to get really satisfying results. So, if I had a great RD1 shot, could I upsample it with Adobe Super Resolution and get a print I could pass off as gallery worthy? Yeah, I'll bet I could, especially if the gallery reception is serving wine.